Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy and today I'm going to do an acrylic painting. Um, I found a tube of paint brushes at Sam's Club. It was like $9.99 and I wanted to give them a try. Um, I just kind of wanted to play around with this photo I found on pixels.com. Um, the f main photo, the fo the inspiration piece was totally different colors and stuff, but I kind of like the textures and I wanted to play around with the colors. So my scheme was kind of more purple, purple, pink, and browns and a little bit of green instead of the concrete gray and, and stuff that they had in there and the actual photograph. But it's mainly just trying to capture texture in the background. And I had I had fun um, just playing around with the textures. And mixing my own colors. I really like to mix my own colors. It makes it, uh, I don't know, it's just a fun part of the process for me. I do use a wet palette. Um, I'm not sure of the brand. It's been a long time since I, I got it. I, I picked it up at Michael's and it has like a ye yellow sponge and then paper and the, the plastic thing it all sits in. What you do is you, um, you wet the sponge with cold water and you wring it out, not all the way, but about half the water back out of it and you soak the paper in really hot water for like 15 20 minutes and it it comes with a lid so if you stop to take a break you just plop the lid back on it and, and make sure you snap it down and your paint lasts longer instead of all your paint drying up on your palette you can walk you can walk away and come back and still have paint to work with instead of having to waste all that paint. Um, this is a small wet palette. One day I'm going to get a big wet palette, but for now this works. And I used um, my pastel pencil to draw in the flowers before I started painting. Um, I probably should have used a different color because you'll see I'll, I, I tip the canvas a lot. That's me trying to see the lines I made. I think the camera might pick it up a little better than what I was seeing while I was doing it. And you see I just mixed my colors right on the wet palette. Kind of helped bring in the background color into the color a little bit too. Not really, but it's there. It just kind of helps tie everything in. And don't be scared when you're painting to um, flip your canvas, turn your canvas, whatever you need to do in order to get the brush strokes that you're wanting.
with the petals of the flower, I, I went petal by petal instead of trying to do the whole flower in one piece. I, I just broke it down to the petals and I had um, the lighter color towards the end of the petal and deeper colors towards the center of the flower where it meets back up with the flower, I guess I, I should say, on the petal. go back in and add stems and leaves and stuff. I, I mix my own green make it with um, yellow and blue, but you can also make a really good olive green if you mix yellow and black together. I'm not really sure how that works, but it's just something that um, you can do with acrylic paint. Maybe it's the pigment they use to uh, form the black but it makes really good olive green in case you're short some green paint and you want to mix your own and don't forget to try and give your object a little bit of shadow to to ground it into the the artwork and I ended up uh, forgetting to paint the sides of the canvas at the beginning so I had to do that before I could sign it I usually like to do that before I start painting I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.